So guys, what's going down? Welcome to another vlog. Now, some exciting news today. The gym has officially been named. I've, I've finalized the name. We're calling it... Actually, you guys are going to be disappointed. You're probably hoping for some corny <laughs> shit. Like, every suggestion I got was like, the freezer, the fucking fridge, the, the ice box, and just, just weird <laughs> shit about me. Like, dude, the name Freezma is nothing to do with being cold. You know what I'm saying? So, we can all that stuff. I've been mulling on this for a few weeks. And I've decided we're gonna call it. I feel like some people are gonna be disappointed. I'm like, I'm excited for the name, but I don't give a shit what you guys. Drum think. roll, drum roll. <laughs> I'm calling it the performance den. And here, what I like about this area, it's a space for bodybuilding, functional training, just everything, just basically performing. Even if you're doing bodybuilding, you're fucking performing. And I love that that concept of performance and just trying to be your best in terms of, you know, that when you're putting an effort. I just spat everywhere. It's all good, brother. <laughs> You're just giving something everything, and I like the word performance. It's actually just here with my man Chase. I'll show you him in a sec. Absolute beast. Natural as well, which is, uh, you know, a journey he's, uh, I think he's talked about it a bit before and stuff like that. So, kind of cool to link up with someone who's, you know, got some pretty similar ideologies with me in regards to all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, honestly, he's, he's giving me some supplements today. A little challenge, Chase. We're not uh, sponsored, by the way. This is strictly just for knowledge for you guys. Yeah, this is some crazy shit. Honestly, like, um, there's some pump stuff here. What, what do we got here? That's the agmatine sulfate, so that prolongs the pump and just helps you get nice and swollen. Yeah. And then this one here, I find this one's probably the one, the glycerol 65. That's the one that just volumizes the cells. It just makes them, like, expand and just fills them up. So I yeah. find yeah. that's probably number one. That will prolong your pump, keep it, hold it there. Yeah. And then that has got your citrulline malate in it. You're better, better alanine, so it helps with performance. Yeah. And then also 250 megs of caffeine, which isn't too much to then buzz out. So basically, so basically, it's just here like, it stems me the fuck up. <laughs> I've never, I've never Why? Like in my damn, like, in my life, man, like, the, uh, it's crazy. So anyway, we're here training some chest. First time training since we've had a name for this spot, so it feels good. Just finishing, The christening. The christening, exactly. <laughs> we're finishing the workout. We got some close grip, elevated feet, press ups, and we're just trying to lean over the weight of our bodies and just get that black, nice low press to really just squeeze that chest. So, like me and Chase were saying before, you see a lot of people do push ups and they're over on their shoulders. We want to be leaning right forward and coming down with the hands low and just really making it as hard as we can, getting that chest squeeze. So, you probably only get half the reps, but much better contraction. Yeah. And you shut those shoulders off as much as you can. <sighs> bit awkward without the music. But it is. It damn YouTube. Probably, yeah, they'll be right there. <laughs> and we're chucking in a super set with some alternating dumbbell curls. So, 15 good? Do you want to go heavier? Let's go heavier, bro. Yeah, because we've done 12s, 15s, yeah. 17s, or 20s. 17s. Uh, oh, you want to go 20? Fuck. Nah, man, it's up to you. With this pump, though, I think. <laughs> you nearly could. I think we could do it. It'd be rude not to. <laughs> Just so everyone knows that we have killed the session. Like before this, we were doing some big presses, some inclines, some flat, and we're, we're going pretty heavy, hey, bro? Yeah, I was, I was very surprised, actually. I think, again... PB I mean, for, for... It's been a PB for a little while, hasn't it? Like for you? Yeah, so the heaviest you've PB, gone for? I think what, what have we got up to? Three reps on 110. For me, that's pretty much my strength back to what it was before the COVID lockdowns and stuff like that, so... One session with me, bro, and I'll have you hitting PBs. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty much not natural now, bro. You know that, eh? Agmatine yeah. Sulfate. <laughs> yeah, look into these right. So we got my man Chase here. He's a Gold Stop Coast us. fella as well, and uh, absolute beast, as you can see. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep up with the uh, leanness of uh, Freezma, but um, I'm a little bit behind. I'm a little bit more body fat than him, but uh, I'm keeping up with the strength. So that's always good. It's always good to push each other. And we've uh, gone heavier than we normally would by ourselves because we've been spotting each other. It's been a bit of fun too. Had a good chat, eh? It's been good, bro. Oh, good break. So I should be able to pump out a few. Yeah, you got this easy. Good reps, nice. Yes, sir. I might chuck some music over it, don't worry, bro. Yeah, we might need something. Yeah. Very <laughs> it's funny, me and Chase just been talking about, uh, he was asking me about the, the vlog of the God's Bids, and um, we we're just kind of talking about YouTube and basically how it translates compared to Instagram in terms of, you know, YouTube is such a hard platform to accelerate on and get those views and get that like audience retention. So shout out to all you guys who tune into my bitch. You know, I, I appreciate it because definitely um, it's, it's a much harder platform to grow on, I guess, you know? Um, it's funny, even Chase was asking me about the vlog of the guys, you know, about YouTube monetization, how much money you can make on YouTube. Obviously, there a lot of people make a lot of money on YouTube. To be really making good money, like people ask me this all the time, how much do I make from ads on my vids? Like, let's say vlog of the guys, right? I was just saying this to Chase, like, over a million views, you know, that vids in terms of revenue and ad revenue has made me 
I think about $1,100, right? So 1100 bucks. it's like... A million people watching it. So uh, with over a million people watching it, we've got massive characters, Jeff Sy, Colin Vomoga, and their vids. Think how hard it is to make something, and it's popped off and gone viral, has everything in it to like do it. Their vids made me $1,100. I'm like, saying to Chase, like, bro, you could literally go train 10 clients and then make that same money. So... You could do that in a day. And you could do that in a day. Yeah. Like, I see a lot of people think like, you know, it's easy money if you're big on YouTube and stuff. It's like, man, there's a lot, there's, there's a lot easier ways to make money. Don't think if you want to be successful in life, you need to be some kind of like social media star and stuff like that. I think that's a, a big perspective which gets lost a lot. You know, I get a lot of messages, young kids, they're like, you know, I want to be like you, do what you do and shit. It's like, if you're trying to do that for the money, like it's not, you're better to try and make your money elsewhere and just do the shit because you love it. You know what I'm saying? So. And if the money comes and the money comes, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Because exactly. so, people don't see the editing and shit that goes behind the scenes, bro. Because I make videos and shit too, so I know what you're going through when you're making yeah. videos. Like people see yeah. you recording shit, they think, oh, he just throws it on the computer, uploads it. Yeah, Even uploading yeah. takes a long time, Man, depending all, on the internet. What sort of internet right? you got, bro? You got MBN or what? Yeah, good internet, yeah. <laughs> but, but that's a criteria. I got when I choose this house. I you make have sure to have MBN. MBN area. Or you'll right? be finding yourself sitting at the Apple fucking. Shop. Luckily it's close, but yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's true. Right down there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm keen to get strong in this again, eh? Hell yeah. This is a good way to build the bicep strength up, like cheating up and slowing it down. Yeah. Definitely. Two more. Come on. <clears throat> Cheat that last one up. Cheat it up. Let's go. Get it up and slow eccentric. Slow <clears throat> on the way down. Tear, tear, tear. <clears throat> How's the weight? Yeah, it felt pretty good. Good? It felt pretty good. Easy. Nice. Nice, bro. It's good. Good, good rep. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier, eh? Okay. That pump shit's going and feeling a certain way, eh? Your biceps a strong muscle group? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be enough, I reckon. That was pretty good. You just aim for six, five or six or more. Five minimum. Not quite. Um, I got a video a while ago. I was like thrashing out uh, 20 on each side, but that was years ago when I was, you know, on gear. Jacked. <laughs> that was a different story, so. What was it, 20 a side? Yeah. That's the goal to get there again. Not out. far off. I get there, that's close. Gets like one rep. Next but you are on creatine, bro, so. <laughs> so, is that natural? Is that? <laughs> oh, I feel that man. Good, just try to get five out, even if you've got to cheat them. Yep. Let's go. Let's go up, 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 up. Slow down. Boom. Hang on now. I tried. <laughs> That was fucking hard, man. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah, well, it's my turn, isn't it? So I'm a tricep sort of guy, so yeah. you might have me on this one. <laughs> That's why with the presses and stuff, I do all right. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, he, this guy smashed me in the presses. So, yeah, he well. yeah, maybe I can get a little victory in the bicep curls over him. About to find out. You'll feel it straight away. Oi, there he goes. Easy money. Nice, bro. Yeah, she's heavy. Easy. You got some thick arms, bro. Yeah. We'll go for five, but see. Yeah. Gotta cheat it up. You got it. Nice. Good job. All good? Yeah. <laughs> you fucking moved the whole thing around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got 30 seconds on each row. Good boy. Yeah, bro, I'll tell you when you got doubles. Overheads. And overheads. Over. Up. Let's go. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. You guys ever want to smash yourself? Ropes? What you can do with the ropes, man? <laughs> Insane. Three, two, one, overhead. Yeah, boy, that's it. 
Nice. Get it. Four, three, two, one. Oh. He's fit. This guy's Go. fit. That's better than the last one. Alright, so absolutely cooked after that session with Chase, guys. I'm literally spazzing out. Like, I'm just... Um, must have been all the, the stems that we took. I mean, to be honest, like most of it was just pump supplements, which I, I just don't take. I've got a little bit of citrulline, I think, in one of my pre-workouts, which I take, but the caffeine's real low. Um, that that pre-workout I have was like a 250 mg of caffeine, which I think is pretty standard for like a, um, a pre-workout, but it's been so long since I've had a pre-workout with anything more than 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. And I'm just like buzzing like a motherfucker. It's like, it's just overboard, so I think I think next time I make a, a pre-workout drink, if I'm, I, need, I just need to be careful on that caffeine. Because um, holy fucking shit, Chase texted me, he said the same shit, he's like, bro, I'm fucking <laughs> pretty out of it. But we smashed a good session, and um, it was so cool, that's actually the first time I've linked up with him. It's cool with, with social media, you know, you get to link up with like, like-minded like individuals. And, um, and you know, in all honesty, just a pleasant surprise, like, um, you know, I... I I follow people back on Instagram who I, I'm like, oh, they, you know, I can, I feel like they're a good dude and stuff like that, but could definitely tell, you know, like actually meeting him in person, like just a good guy. So, um, really enjoyed the sesh, uh, and enjoyed the come, yeah, so I'm fucking, see, I'm stimmed out, man. I know I'm crashing maybe. I don't know. I just feel fucked. Enjoyed the sesh, enjoyed the company as well. So, uh, Trey, shout out to you, bro. But yeah, just here actually currently about to import some of this footage and get the editing process going. Uh, that's kind of like the grind at the moment is just filming, getting into the computer, getting in the edit suite and just trying to chop it up as quick as I can before I get into the rest of my daily activities. I've got a couple of client programs to send out today. And then also today expecting a delivery right through that door there hopefully uh, of some oversized tees for the gym seats. We're gonna do all the printing for the uh, screen prints on these tees here in Australia. That's something I'm trying to keep involved is that print process through our screen printers here in Australia because I want to keep money in our economy and I want to, you know, give back to uh, this country, you know, and, and not put all that money overseas that you guys, you know, pay for, sh for stuff. So you're yeah, going to be organizing those screen prints pretty much as soon as they come in the door. Hopefully uh, there's no issues with them. They're all perfect. It's everything that has been ordered and the uh, sizing is all correct and everything as, as it should be from the samples and all that. I was really happy with the quality on the oversized seats. You probably see me wearing the saw one. The print on it was a bit too low. Like I was just experimenting with a new print, some new sizing, but gonna redo that. And then we're gonna have, um, you guys will see it if you're following the brands, you know, I'm not gonna to try to talk about it without just showing you. I'd rather just show you guys when we've got the, uh, the new prints in. But looking about the end of August, and we're gonna be restocking some uh, V2 track shorts as well. So the stone grays and the blacks, uh, which always sell out the blacks. Um, you know, we've been doing the blacks for five years and every few months they sell out and then we don't have them for a few months and then we, we bring them back in. So gonna be ordering that literally on the laptop very soon. I'm actually a bit nervous guys because um, I'm kind of getting to this point like, um, I've been reinvesting a lot of money back into gym stees and it's like the bank accounts just going down like that. I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm actually, um, I wouldn't call it scared, but um, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting a bit paranoid because obviously a rent we pay in this place is a lot more expensive than our old place. And, um, you know, I'm like, fuck, like I'm just looking at the money different now, even though it's going towards gym stees, it's like obviously good. It's like the returns are going to come. I'm just, uh, you know, because this is literally the most expensive place that me and Jim have ever lived in. Uh, so it's in the back of my mind, like, you know, when the bank starts to get under a certain number, I'm like, no, that's kind of like the reserve. Um, we don't want to go under that. And literally when I put this down payment on for the shorts today, we'll be getting kind of close to that, my reserve, which I've got kind of set for this place. But just try not to let that psych me out and fuck me up out of uh, not reinvesting as much as we can into the brand. And um, you know, you, you guys are all there. The customer base is all there and it's, it's only growing as well. It's been awesome with these new track suits. They kind of got out of our normal customer range of of who's been ordering so we've got new eyes on the brand and that's something that's um you know i want to make the most of that and uh capitalize on that as well also with the track suits so they will be shipping out if you've pre-ordered between the first and the fifth of august i've just messaged my supply I haven't haven't heard back but hopefully everything's completely on track with that it's always you know that's the hardest thing about doing a pre-order is making sure everything goes according to the plan uh, because obviously uh, you know you guys who have ordered uh, trust in that process of you know giving that capital up front for us to you know because that order of, of what we 
ended up doing in terms of the units was just huge on those track suits. So definitely doing the pre-order was almost like a less risky way of doing it in terms of, uh, you know, Jim Steeds as a business having to put money up front for that stuff and then risking it not selling, you know, like I could have released those track suits, no one could have bought them. And then it would be like, what? shit, these are the most expensive things that Jim Steeds has ever made in terms of the uh, price to get them manufactured and then if no one buys them so it's kind of like gouging on that demand on it as well see with all the pre-orders we've got them manufactured now so they're going to be probably ready within a few days and getting shipped here to australia of which me and jim are gonna well, maybe jim will help i don't know but i'm gonna be sending them all out to you guys who ordered so shout out if you got amongst we've also i've been getting a few messages about if we've got extra stock We've ordered about 30% extra stock on the tracksuits, um, but if you didn't get amongst the pre-order, they're going to be a bit more expensive per piece. So obviously an advantage if you bought from the pre-order was that they were $20 cheaper per unit of what the retail price would usually be. So um, you're obviously you're making a bit of a saving if you're getting amongst the pre-order, which is something I think you deserve if you're having to wait. Uh, you know, six weeks and you're trusting that process. So yeah, just went on a little update from the supplier there, and and I'm fucking. I've been talking too much man i'm just trying to kind of find my bearings right now because i'm feeling a bit out of it but yeah i've got to um <laughs> fucking like just being honest the caffeine the caffeine has hit me hard the caffeine's hit me hard but yeah I'm, I've, i just got to make this order <laughs> for the shorts and um yeah we're gonna i'm just gonna do it fuck it you guys are gonna buy these shorts right you promise oh, you don't want to do these stairs after leg day with montez i'll tell you that much come on in son would you look at this office, guys? Look at this office vibe right now. I love this design. This design right here, I love that. As you can see, super productive. Got some drawings down there. And if you come in here, uh, we've got the tight out oversized tanks with the, they're gonna have embroideries up there with the little Jim C's logo. And then stone gray, and then the black track shorts restocking. And then also we're going to be doing the oversized uh, dagger tee and then also, I'll show you guys this one, I wasn't going to show you, but uh, we're going to be dropping this uh, end of August. So it's just kind of like a casual collegiate, but we've got a little dumbbell on there. Uh, pretty simple, but just seeing that, it's just a shirt that I just want to wear all the fucking time. So you guys know with the designs, it's, it's anything that basically I want to wear, you guys are going to get on gymsies.com basically. So. Still man, I don't know how many years of running this brand and it's it's always like... If I'm excited to wear it, man, I don't care if we don't sell any, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that's like a selfish way to look at things, but um, it's just kind of like the way I look at things to, you know, in case something, sometimes guys, legit, running a clothing line, sometimes you just put shit out and you're like, this is the coolest thing ever, and then no one buys it and you've literally like lost money on it. And then you just got to hope that one of your other things which you brought out maybe at the same time does really well and it kind of offsets, you know, the units not moving for the thing that you thought was really fucking cool. But even for me personally, what does offset if something doesn't sell as well, if I really love it and then I get to wear it, you know, I'm, I'm stoked with that. So I, I'll take a loss on that if it means that I can, you know, wear a new design, which I personally vibe. So, and it's just trying to, yeah, just reframe stuff in your life. And it's so important to do that in any way you can from, uh, you know, if something's not working out the best to just kind of reframe it and say hey look here's one good thing that's come from it and if you can do that in life you know you're you're gonna have such a better time i watched a vid last night actually shout out to my man joe delaney uh really joe delaney is a good fucking guy i really like that that human being and i don't think i need to convince any of you guys if you follow him um everyone loves joe delaney the the, the i i messaged him last night i was like bro your fucking like to dislike ratio is something that men like me can only admire like he is a well-liked motherfucking guy. And like, in a way, I strive for that. I'm like, fuck, why, why do I get like dislikes and shit on my It's like, I don't think I'll ever achieve his, his like to dislike ratio. But I messaged him, I'm like, bruh. Oh yeah, so that's what I was saying. So I messaged him because he, he did a fucking good video yesterday on his channel. You might've seen it about worrying less. And it's so damn true, man. When you're worrying, you're not happy. And it just, it, it's like worrying is like a poison in your life. What Joe's saying in the video is that as humans, we naturally tend to let things take up space in our mind of like a possible worst case scenario, which realistically in terms of the scheme of things is, is like a least likely thing to happen, but we can give it so much weight and, you know, it can really just ruin uh, what our everyday life is, which is just trying to, you know, enjoy being in the moment and, you know, doing kind of mundane things, which if you've got stuff 
that you're worrying about while you're doing your everyday stuff, you're not going to be having a good life. Very well made video. I messaged Joey last night. Actually, um, was having a little bit of a chat to him on WhatsApp. Actually, I wanted to jump on a vid call with him, but he was actually at the gym, at this weird little outdoor fucking gym. <laughs> he sent me a video and it, and it was just looked so fucking awkward. Like, there was like no music playing and shit. All these random people like, just like walking around this little outdoor space. And uh, he's like leg pressing in a shipping container and stuff. And I was like, what the fuck? But hopefully we'll get on a big call with him soon because um, such a good dude and we're de definitely well due for a catch up. And it's a real shame with all this COVID stuff and the traveling, uh, you know, stopping. Um, no doubt I'm ready for a trip over to, to visit him in the UK. And um, I don't know if him and Rob want to come back to Australia. I know they were pretty traveled out by the time they got to Gold Coast last year. We teed up and did that vid, but um, such good times, man. Joe Delaney and Rob Lipset, such good dudes, man. I fucking love those guys. Like in terms of the, in the fitness industry, um, I don't like watch all their vids and stuff like that. Um, I'll jump in and you know watch a few when I can and stuff, but um, just in terms of their company, uh, love those dudes, man. Anyway, holy shit, this has been a bit of a talk, isn't it? Vibes, just fucking vibes. I'm, I'm just loving this office right now, guys. It's, honestly, I can't even describe it compared to our last place. I said it in our house tour of when we moved in here. You hear this? Just so well insulated and silent. And you can actually sit in here and just, it's, it's almost like as if your thoughts just collect themselves into an order of uh, just, just being so strung together well in your head. I come in here with scrambled thoughts and then I'm literally just after a couple of minutes everything just pieces together. I'm like, oh, this is what I need to do. Just from like this, the feeling in here. It's really weird to describe. You guys probably know if you've been in like a good uh, well-built like office space or something. There's just something about it. I've never had that in, in a place I've lived but the thickness of these carpets and stuff, it just insulates this room and it just like bang on. So probably sounds fucking stupid but there's Blazy. What are you doing, big boy? Huh? What are you doing?